Hi everybody. Welcome back to R&R &R Lifestyle. This is Captain Rod and I'm Rhonda. Today we're going to talk to you about some problems we've had with our flow hive. Not really the hive itself, but when we came and inspected yesterday, we found some unexpected and unwelcome visitors. So that's what we're going to talk to you about today. Yeah, we're also going to go ahead and uh, replace the base. Flow Hive was kind enough to send us a new base for our Flow Hive. Uh, the, the previous base that came with the uh, original Flow Hive that we ordered uh, had a, a gap big enough in it between the bottom brood box and the base that bees could actually come and go in and out of there. So it was a, an opportunity for robbers to have another avenue to get into the hive. So we reached out to Flow Hive and we want to thank Flow Hive for uh, uh, carefully taking care of us and getting us a new base quickly. So if you look right over here, you can see it's sitting down there and I've already got it tongue oiled and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this base right here. And you can see the base down there and I've had to shim it up and we're going to do something with that too today. But right here is the gap that I was talking about. And this is big enough that bees are coming and going out of that gap right there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace this whole base right here. Take the bottom brood chamber, our newer topper, top brood chamber, and then our uh, 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 syrup feeder off. We're also, uh, we stuck some, as an emergency measure, we stuck some Wesson oil on this uh, bottom board here. It did manage, it did kill two bees. Uh, I don't see any hive beetles on here anymore, but uh, we're going to replace that. We saw a little tip on one of the uh, other YouTube channels for beekeeping where they said, uh, as a matter of fact, it was Flow Hive that uh, gave this tip. You buy this tablecloth that um, is plastic on one side and it's this fuzzy material on the other side and you kind of rough that up a little bit and slide it in there and the hive beetles actually get their legs get caught in this and they end up dying on there so we're going to give that a try first before we try any pesticides of uh, any kind that uh, are, are beetle traps um, and see if that works it's a nice natural way to go ahead and do it and uh, We'll go from there now. So we got a bee getting ready to just go back in there. Uh, it looks like, see there's one just came out right there. So like I said, we're gonna close that up. Speaking of natural pesticides, you can hand me that cinnamon. Another tip that we learned online is for ants, and we don't really have an ant problem, but speaking of robbers and people coming in to, to steal the honey that our bees are working so hard to make, uh, just normal cinnamon just go to the grocery store um, buy some cinnamon and sprinkle it about we're going to do that today also on these cinder blocks and maybe some inside where we have our syrup feeder uh, so we'll just sprinkle some cinnamon around it does not hurt the bees at all and it's totally natural yeah that's what we're going to do so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start taking the uh, hive apart here uh, we'll uh, set the hive on some blocks over here Rhonda's not totally comfortable just yet uh, digging in her hands into the hive, even though she's got her full bee it's suit coming, and everything. It's coming though. I'll be brave. She's, she's going to eventually get brave. She just needs to see me do it some more on that. I think she's more afraid of hurting the bees. So um, uh, I'm going to you know, let her gain her confidence in that. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this off and Rhonda's going to go ahead and hold the uh, camera for me, okay? Enjoy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove the roof right here. The roof, the roof. We've had like four days of like non-stop rain just about. I think we got about six inches of rain. So the bees have been pretty cooped up in this hive right here. I do see an ant crawling around inside here right now. Uh, that's just one ant, but uh, what, like I said, we're gonna show you how uh, we uh, uh, saw a video on how to take care of that. You just spread cinnamon on here and that'll get rid of the ants. Um, they won't come around here. That like that song don't come around here no more so we're gonna go ahead and do that I did notice that uh, water was getting into the hive uh, into this part from all that heavy rain and I don't understand that really but um, okay we're gonna remove the feeder bucket here and it is still pretty full right now the nectar is really flowing here in uh, South Georgia right now so um, I think that's why I want to try and do this fairly quickly because uh, uh, we've had a, a, a bumblebee that's been coming around here but around the hive quite often and so we're gonna try and make this happen really quickly here Ooh. look at all these little bees right here and uh, a lot of the times these are uh, the little uh, bees that have just hatched 
kind of let them be. So I'm going to set them right there, just like that. All right, so looking in here, I'll just take a quick peek here. Should I get the smoker? Um, yeah, we can smoke some of them back in a little bit here. And then scrape this burr comb off the top. And there's the flight of the bumblebee <laughs> there, folks. Okay, so now we'll take this. And when we got that like that, we're going to go ahead and scrape the top of this off here real quick. I'm trying to save that. Okay, and get the top of this here too. really going to do an inspection right this second. I want to get it apart and get it back together pretty quickly. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set this top brood chamber right on this box right here for right now. So I'm going to pull this off just like that and set this down right over here like that. Okay now this one is going to go on the new the new hive there but well, let's do a quick look in here and see what we got down in here let's see if the bees are doing any kind of work in here so if I look in here real quick I don't see any work on this side I don't see any work on that side was it the fourth frame Nothing on this one fourth frame that we disturbed last week yeah the one that we had to tear apart come on get out of there I'm smashing them see this is the problem they all <laughs> and I'll just kind of get in there and okay we're just gonna get this on the new block so I'm gonna pick this box up I'm gonna set it over here on top of this one for right now and then we're gonna go ahead and switch out the bases real quick so this is the first time this base has been removed like this we don't want to we don't want to lose our queen so she's in this one right here so we're going to go ahead and what take it, this base. Look at this one. Is that a drone? Where? Right there. Big one. Crawling. I, I don't know right if it is here. or isn't. I don't know if it is or isn't, but right. we're going to just Here's the new one. Here. Oh, were you going to change these cinder blocks also? Yeah, I'm going to do some, some work here real quick. So this is our this is our new base right here. We're going to set this right over here. Just like this. Okay, and it looks like I've got to prop up that front just a little bit here. Okay. That's good and solid. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to take the old base set it over here for right now take this out of the way we're going to go ahead and grab the clean the, the bottom bottom brood chamber here set it down over here just like this Okay, now I'm looking for gaps. And there is a gap here. So I don't know what's causing that gap to be there. I don't know if it's a big enough gap for other bees to get out of, though. It looks like this bottom back board here is just a little high on this end down here. And that's causing that to sit up. It's like a I need to take a plane to that bottom board and scrape it out. We don't want that dragonfly around here because he'll try and grab the queen. So here we're gonna smoke these guys back in. It's 
like that. Get this panel back over here. So we don't want these bees. I'm gonna just pull this open just enough. Grab my hive tool right here. Pull this open just enough. Just wanna see if, uh, if the queen is down in here. And we wanna do a little bit of a hive inspection because we, we, like we said, we had some uh, hive beetles in here. So we feel like we need to inspect this just a little bit. All right, so here we're gonna pull this frame out first and take a look at it right here and see what this looks like. Okay, this was completely empty and as you can see, they are already building up the wax frame. They've got some stores down in there. Yep, they're building they're the comb. They're building up the comb. So this one here was in a completely empty frame and to see them doing that, that's great. That's great news. This was a new hive that we bought uh, from uh, Apiary up in North Georgia and it was supposed to have five full frames when we got it. Uh, needless to say, when we got it, it didn't have five full frames. It actually had uh, three full frames and, and uh, two empty frames. Uh, uh, two full, was it two full frames? Three full. Three full and two empty. So, all right, so this one here, we're just gonna set off to the side right here, right now. I'm gonna slide this over. They are using their propolis and they're, they're getting that all in there really good. So, don't see anything on that side. This was the frame where we did a, a major surgery on the last week, was this one right here. So we'll pull this out and I'll spin it around. I see lots of capped honey on it on this side. But uh, we scraped all the way down that center and you can see they're building it out a little bit right now uh, at the top there. But that's all honey. This is all honey. Look at that fresh nectar. They're still building out the frame but they're filling it as fast as they're building it out. Beautiful. So this is really nice. It looks a lot better than it did. So we'll go ahead and stick that back in there. Thank you, Vino Farms, for that great advice. Yes. All right, now we're gonna pull this one out right here. We're looking, I'm mostly looking for hive beetles here. I'm not really looking for, uh, for the queen. But if, I hope I can find her if I do find her. So I see a bunch of comb being built on this frame right here too. Um, I do see a bug right there on my glove. Okay, but they're building out all this comb right here. Lots of honey and pollen. Yep. And all baby right. bees. And they're building out comb here too. I can see it building out right here already mm -hmm. too. So that's good, they're, they're working hard. I'm gonna stick this one back down in here very, very gently. Don't wanna smush any bees. We've had the uh, last couple of days uh, when the rain is broke, we've had some really nice orientation flights happen. And uh, those have been really nice to see. Now this is the main frame right here. And this frame right here is where I'm gonna expect to see the queen uh, in here. It's gonna be a really heavy frame. I, uh, as a rookie, I uh, had the frames too far apart and um, that uh, caused them to really build this out something fierce. So I'm gonna come up here nice and slow with this. Tons and tons and tons of brood down at the bottom. We've got some nice drone cells, which just means that our queen is ready to start laying up on the top as soon as they get that finished. I see drone cells here, I see honey. Are you seeing the queen over there at all? I'm looking. I do not see the queen over here. We're still learning how to find her. We did not get a marked queen. Uh, so it's a little bit like where's Waldo. They all look the same. We've learned to kind of look for people tending to the queen. They gather towards her, but I, I tell you, look and right in here. You see that larva down in there? Mm -hmm. I'm just really looking for the queen uh, right now. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing her. I would love to, though. All right, let's check your side. I think maybe, perhaps, because this side is so full, this is not the side we'll find her on. This side is really full, too. Really full. I see lots of stored pollen and lots of brood. So let's stick this back down in here. We gotta be very, very careful. Don't wanna roll the queen. She might be a little bit shy. So we'll stick this back down in here very, very gently. Okay, and we'll push this, push this over. All right, and she's not going to be on this because they're still just building out the wax comb here. So she might be in this top frame already. She might be back up there. So let's, let's push give her this. A look. Let's push this all back. Mm -hmm. As tight as you can. Yeah, we have a a blowing up bee population here. So far, we're pretty fortunate in that uh, we feel like this hive is really, really. Uh, doing well. So I'm gonna, Lots uh, of happy bees. Yeah. So now we're gonna have a drone. I have a, a guard bee here kind of just checking out my uh, my actions here and he's trying to decide if he wants me here or not. Okay so here's that other frame. We'll drop that back down in here like this. And bring up the top box. Bring up the top box. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased to say that just with this cursory inspection, we are not seeing any of the hive beetles up in the brood chambers. Uh, when we saw those beetles last night pulling out the, the bottom board, uh, we rushed right inside to our friend YouTube to figure out what to do about hive beetles and uh, heard some pretty scary stuff about them you know, picking on the larva and the brood and it, they can decimate your hive pretty quickly if they're not uh, caught. So we're, we're taking the precautions we know to do. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below because like, a, like Rod and I've said, we're, we're new at this and all support is appreciated. Myself some room here. And see, Should we take two out? To be. No, we're just going to push this back over okay. this way, which will give me enough room to pull this one up. Mm -hmm. And this is all just comb right here that I they're tell building. You, that was a brand new frame last week. Look at the work they've done in five days, five to seven days. Yeah. They've pulled all of that. And all of that. So they are like really busy here. Busy like a bee. So we're gonna stick that back down in there. Slide it on over, get it close. Now right. this one has lots of capped honey at the top. I can see it already. We might find the queen in here. We might. Okay. I hear a lot of buzzing going on right now. <laughs> Brood and honey. No queen on this frame. You're very fast if you can look that quickly and see. She stands out. I'm not that good yet. Lots of capped honey here. And fresh nectar and fresh brood that's freshly hatched. Okay. And she's not on your side. She's not on this side, so we're going to okay. stick this one back in.
we're gonna go to the next one. Friends, if you're looking for a fun and educational hobby, we have just had a ball with these bees and, and it's been less than a month. Uh, we've learned so much and it really is fascinating. And I promise someday I'll be brave comb. enough to go in. All new comb on this side. How's your side look? Beautiful. They're really building it out. Yep. Okay, so this next frame will be our last chance to to really see the queen. If she's in here, she's gonna be on this frame right here that I'm about to pull out here. And I really wish these guys would just get out of here because I feel horrible when I pinch should them we, in there. Should we smoke them? Yeah, I think so. Get them out of there. Now we have heard that when you smoke them, it drives the bees down. So I'm gonna kind of focus my efforts on looking for the queen low on this next frame. Yeah, we might have just dro driven her down to this bottom frame now with the smoke. This is another very heavy frame that we brought up recently from the uh, bottom brood box. Oh, look box. at these bees, hold on. Look at these bees drinking. I love it. Look for the queen. I see all kinds of larvae on this side. I have freshly hatched brood. I've got all kinds of capped honey. This is a very heavy honey frame yeah, right I here. I have brood larvae and honey on this side. I'm looking for the queen. Do you think she could be laying on that next frame over? I doubt it. Okay. back down so I can push these together. Mm -hmm. Get out of there. You can get out of there too. I know you guys want to drink. You can get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. <laughs> they came right back up. There we go. Okay. So all kinds of comb and brood on this side, honey. Nothing on the outside of the frame. They're not working on there yet. They're over here drawing comb on this last high, uh, um, frame over here. So we're doing really well with this upper hive. We just added it. Uh, we were so afraid that if we didn't uh, add this upper frame, uh, this upper brood box, that um, the bees were gonna run out of uh, space and, and maybe do a swarm. So we went ahead and we added the upper brood box. I think and it was a good call. It was a good call because uh, they jumped right. We took uh, three frames from the bottom, brought them up to the top, and they're building on the bottom and the top right now. So that's exactly what we want. I got all the frames as tight as I can get them except for right here because they built out that honey so thick from a previous mistake of mine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the uh, this bottom board back on there. I'm going to brush these bees right here off edge there. Yeah. Stick that back on just like that. Now here's where we're going to do the little cinnamon trick. First we're going to put our feeder bucket back on there. So I'll go over here and I'm going to flip this over here. Another tip we picked up is if you flip the feeder far away, it keeps the pests farther away from the hive. If you tip that syrup right next to the hive, that's where the ants are going to come and they'll be attracted to where the big honey stores are. So you tip it over far away 
I am loving all the pollen coming in. While you're coming over with that, I'm just gonna film these beauties right here. Look at their legs. They are just loaded down. All right, there's that. Got the feeder bucket back on there. Now we're just gonna sprinkle cinnamon all over in the top up here. And supposedly the ants do not like cinnamon. They won't cross it. So hopefully they'll take off. This is the, we didn't just buy the cheap stuff either. This is the good stuff. Hmm. How much was this bottle? I think $5.99. Yeah, so we'll be making a trip to Sam's and buying a nice big one. But uh, for right now, this is what we're going to go with for here. Yep. So, now we're feeding our bees right now because it's a brand new hive. It's only three weeks old, this hive. And we've already added a second uh, brood box on top and they're already building that out there they're close to 80 percent on top once they finish uh, this wax frame here so uh, um, they're they're building like crazy up here so now we're gonna put the feeder back on here now eventually this will be filled uh, up here we'll have a queen excluder right in this level right here just under this box we'll have a queen excluder there and, uh, and then we'll have the uh, flow hive uh, honey frames up top here and we'll harvest right out the back of the hive. So, but we're not there yet. We got a, got a little ways to go here. I'm just making sure my hive's all lined up. And then we'll get the top back on here. Make sure I don't have any bees down in there. Real quick. Okay. I'm gonna stick that back. that gap look over here? Did it close up a little bit? It looks much better than the last one. Yeah, I don't see any bees coming in and out of it, so that's good. Uh, there's still a, there's the rabbit on the back here from the backboard. It needs to be playing down a little bit. I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to do that. I'll have to wait for the next box to arrive. So. Alright, I'm going to button this up. Oh. see any more hive beetles in there so hopefully we caught them at the right time um, we, you can see here we do have some uh, extra cinder blocks right here uh, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we see a lot of people doing with the cinder block stood up in the wood in between so you can stack the frames along that or sit on it um, because we are gonna add other other hives and we don't know exactly where we're gonna plant them if you look across this hill right here in our backyard, this is our septic system. It's uh, it's raised. We planted wildflowers and perennials all, all and annuals all on here. Mostly right now, it's just grass, but it's a nice little natural environment for the bees. This side of the house doesn't really get too much uh, tra foot traffic, other than when we come over here to check our bees out. So uh, um, this is uh, this is just for our bees. We did this whole thing for our bees. We. We learned too late that they don't really like Confederate jasmine, and that's what we've got planted around most of our fence here. Uh, but that does help other pollinators, and we, we've started planting honeysuckle, and they do like honeysuckle. So thank you for joining r and Lifestyles. We'll uh, be back. We've got some other stuff. Uh, summer's coming. Rhonda's out of school. She's a teacher. She's out of school next week. So we'll start doing some other fun stuff. We're going to take you to our gun range. We're going to take you jeeping. We're going to take you out on a boat. 
out into the Atlantic Ocean and down the intercoastal waterways. A little kayaking. Uh, kayaking. Uh, we we like to live life. We're going to do some photography. We love photography. We're going to add some drone footage and stuff. So all of that's coming. Subscribe, like below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, live your life with purpose. That's right.